Hello everybody, welcome to the dojo. In today's video we'll be doing an unboxing and a first impressions of a, another Yong Li T10 Wakazashi. Just got this bad boy in the mail. Now I did get one many years ago. Uh, you can check the video on that and I've been very happy with that one. So today's EDC, another Cold Steel Voyager. I haven't been making a lot of videos, but I've been making more like shorter videos. Hey, and this one's the real box. Last time it was just like foam. And actually I didn't even open the box. I was expecting foam, so I cut it down the side there, but it was actually cardboard and I didn't hit it on a seam. So good job to the Cold Steel Voyager. It sliced right through the side of a piece of cardboard. So it's going to be another messy unboxing, even though I was trying to be clean with it, just because I split, I basically made entry in a way that it wasn't supposed to make entry. Dang, look at that. Hopefully I didn't cut anything in there, but the last Wakazashi that I got, you know what I say about Yong Li? Yong Li made is strongly made. The last Yong Li Wakazashi I got, well, the blade at least has been flawless. The handle broke within, I don't know, a week. Within one week, the handle came completely apart. Not just unraveling, but the wood, all the fittings came completely destroyed. And I usually practice only around at least one hour a day, sometimes three hours a day. It's very rare that I take a day off from training just because I actually, I enjoy it a lot every day. And just in about one week of regular training, the handle was completely destroyed. But this is the new updated 2022 version, Yong Li T10 Wakazashi. And it's a lot different. This one's a lot different, so I'm really excited to see the difference firsthand. There was a little bit of foam in there. There's some plastic going on here. The box was a lot easier, so good, good job, Yong Li. Last time I made a... Uh, a review of their Yong Li Wakazashi, we sold them out. We bought every single one. Uh, they don't even exist anymore. Actually, I, I think they might have restocked them. Uh, but I was really, it was really exciting to see that happen in the comments. People saying, hey, I bought it, I loved it. I bought it and um, then eventually the comments were saying, hey, it sold out. So good job, guys. We're gonna see if this one's worth it. It's already super beautiful, holy moly. So, Last time I didn't like the Saya because the Saya was super shiny. The Saya is still shiny, but it has like this freaking metallic flake in it. Like these opal flakes, super heady. Love it. Look at that thing. I don't know if you can tell. It's still got some plastic around the um, suka here, but look at the shape of that. I don't know if you can see how it narrows in the center there. That's exactly what you want. Even if it only lasts one week, that's what the kind of grip you want. And um, the way I look at this, the reason why I purchased this is because it's still very cheap. It's only about a little bit over $100, even after inflation and even after everything we went through with the pandemic and everything. Um, because the other uh, Wakazashi I got did survive through all of that. I expected to break the blade and I did not. And again, T10 Super still, someone met Litman left a comment saying, oh, T10 is not a super still, even though it is superior to what they had on the battlefield thousands of years ago. And you know, they're right. It's not necessarily the best still that exists in the whole world, but you get what you pay for. And who wants to spend, you know, eight, $900, $600 on a Wakazashi with marginally better steel, but you could still break it. You could still scratch it. You could still dent it. It's just a tool. So for me, $100 on a T10 steel, T10 is what I go for. I didn't even shop around for another brand. I went straight back to Yong Li because I've been completely thrilled with them. And see how the tip of this is pointed. I'll show you the other Yong Li right now, just to compare. See how that, oh, we, I guess we could almost compare blade lengths almost, no? They look about maybe a little shorter. So the new one's just a little bit, maybe a little shorter blade, maybe not. But do you see how the tip is different? One is squared, one is angled. 
and sparkly. The camera is not picking up those sparkles at all. It's, it's beautiful. All right, and I do look at these as kind of a donor blade because for a hundred dollars, for a hundred dollars for the blade and the sparkly saya and all the fittings and trim, and then seven dollars for an axe handle. Let me just explain this old one right here. Now there's videos, I'm not gonna take up too much time in this video, but you can see how I put the axe handle on this sword. This axe handle is amazing. It feels so good. You can put two hands on it. You have much more angles to go by. I love this axe handle. I even uh, pointed the tip there to give it some striking power there. I love this sword. This sword has been treating me well for what? Has it been two, three years? Uh, the blade, I've never sharpened the blade. I'll show you the blade later. I don't want to take the shine away from the new sword. The new, this is the new and improved 2022 version Yongli Wakazashi. All new fittings and trim. Now that is imitation. That is, none of that is real uh, ray skin. You know, this is vegan jutsu. Another reason why I choose the Yongli, they're not shy about advertising their imitation ray skin where some companies will leave it even though they even though they are a vegan sword, they won't put that because they want people to believe they're getting, ooh, that's tight. The other one is pretty loose, not even just from my years of training, but it came a little bit loose. This one is very tight. They're fit and finish. It's a it's hundred times better. Let's just see. So it's a little bit greasy. Let me just rub off that grease real quick. Holy moly, this blade is a thousand times more beautiful than the previous one. It's a wider blade. It's a much more contoured, has much more shaping and beauty in it. Look at this blade. This might be one of the most beautiful blades I've ever seen. I don't know if you guys can tell how wide this blade is. It's a wide blade with a lot of body in it. What I mean by body is the cuts. So it has the bow high here. It also has this tapered false edge on the top. So on the top it's uh, almost like a bowie knife. It, the grind starts down here. Let me see if I can get it to focus. So thick blade, here's how it looks. Thick blade, but then right around here, they start grinding it down from both sides for that false edge. It's not a real edge, it's just that gives the appearance of it. Ooh, I'm, I touched it, it scared me. It's, it is a little bit sharp, but it's, it's blunt. It's blunt, but my reflexes, when I touch my finger there, now look at that. Hamon. Is it real? I do believe these are real Hamons from Yang Li because my other sword has one and I've been beating the crap out of it. Check out all my reels I've been making and cuts I've been doing. I've been giving it nothing but hell and uh, it's not really picking up great. It's beautiful. It's extremely beautiful. The balance isn't bad at all, but it's extremely a wide blade with an aggressive grind. I hope that it's coming across to you. This is an extremely wide blade with a high grind. When I mean high grind, I'm talking about the length. Um, I guess there's not a real good way of showing this, but the grind starts from, oh, let's see. See if I can dual wield these for you. Now the grind starts from about right here and goes all the way up. So it's, I mean, over an inch, over an inch there. And that bow high is only goes a very short section around six, seven inches there. The guard, very intricate, just a generic guard. I'm sure it's nothing fancy, but that blade is what really where all the magic happens. I'm very pleased with, I was not expecting 
this type of beautiful wide blade. That's one of my favorite types of blades. I'm glad to have one of these in the dojo now. Um, I really want to cut with it. So we might get some test cuts in. It's going to be a little bit uh, weird because of that false edge. So what I mean by that is when I insert the tip of the katana back into the saya, I'm not used to that very, very narrow edge. It almost kind of triggers my brain because I feel like I'm putting my finger on a on an edge. You know what I'm trying to say? So uh, let's get back on the other side of the bench though. Woo! Oh, it's still a great sword. With a little bit of training, I'll get used to like that. I already, now that I'm aware of it, that it won't cut me, I'm totally fine with it. Now, I love Wakazashi. I have many swords, but I really do believe the Wakazashi is the sword you should have. The reason why I say that, it's cool to have a katana for just traditional martial arts training, but a katana, I have one right here. So a katana is more of a battlefield weapon. This blade is huge, I can hardly get it into frame. This is more for an outdoors type of scenario, but if you take this to a battlefield now, it's not effective at all. This is not as effective in a battlefield nowadays. Um, even compared to a wakazashi, a wakazashi would be better because it's lighter, you can move in and out of vehicles, you're not on a horseback anymore. You don't, you don't have the luxury to carry a huge sword like this. That's why I believe that a Wakazashi, even in today's standards, is a much, much better weapon. Now, this was the previous one. Now, it's not as wide and it's not as body. I hope that's coming across on this footage here. It's not as a wide blade, not as much body. Same steel, about the same length. We can compare that in a second. I like the guard better on this one. I've upgraded the handle to the katana mod. I mean the axe hatchet mod. So, and again, I don't want to waste too much time on this sword. I just want to show you. Love this sword. No damage at all on the blade. I've never sharpened it in three years, two or three years. I'm not exactly sure. It's stained, it's been bashed, it's been beaten. There might be one chip on it, to be honest. I seen it the other day here. It's very small. I don't even know if I can, if you could, there it is. That's the only damage on the entire blade. I've cut thousands of cuts with this. I'm talking about hard cuts. I'm talking about misses, cuts, everything. The blade's completely stained and ugly, but we can polish that out. This has been the YouTube channel sword for very faithfully for many years. And I love this sword. It's actually one of my favorites. And again, the Sai is very shiny. Uh, let's just... Very excited to have this one though. And let's just compare the blades real quick. So with my professional eye, holy moly. So the new Yong Li Wakazashi blade is much, much heavier. Even with the added weight of the axe handle, the previous Yang Li Wakazashi is much lighter, and that has to do with this much, much wider blade. I, I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but the new 2022 Yang Li Wakazashi is much wider. It almost reminds me of the cold steel uh, Steven Seagal Wakazashi that I never got. I wanted one, but it was just wrapped in leather and I don't need all that negative energy. The new blade, oh, I forgot to check length. The width and the weight is definitely heavier. Oh my gosh, it is longer. So it's also about an inch longer too, maybe a half inch. 
you can pause that and freeze frame. So it's everything about, oh, the balance is amazing. It feels like a scalpel. Let's see if it wiggles. Oh, it's tight. No wiggles, it's very tight. It's a very nice blade. I think it's a huge improvement. Only time will tell. And I'll update my Instagram stories if I break it. So, yeah. I guess there's only one thing left to do with it. That's to do a slight little cutting test with it. Get this bad boy out of the way as well. All right. So I've never made a cut with this sword. This will be the very first cut. And hope you liked the video. Um, go and get these. I would definitely say get one right away before we sell them out again. It's a great value, it's a great buy. It's beautiful, it's phenomenal. I can't believe actually how good it looks. The pictures do not look that good. There will be a link down below. Let's sell them out. Let's let Yang Lee know to keep making these keep uh, advertising them correctly. I like that a lot. And let's see if we can't get a few cuts on this bad boy right here. <sighs> and a miss. So just getting my distances right. Got you. <laughs> so yeah, we did, we got two cuts. We're just gonna wipe this bad boy down. My other, I'm used to just not caring because my other sword has been through so much. But let's keep this one nice and beautiful. Hope everybody's having a good day. Like, comment, subscribe, leave me a nice message below, and peace. Thanks for watching.